Hey there, in this video I wanted to talk a little about configurations. In GameMaker's target menu, you can see the configurations here. Right now we have one default configuration. Now more configurations can be added through this menu. A configuration basically stores your game's information. For example, all the options here, they are stored in a configuration. So that includes the game's title, the version number, all the icons, and everything else. So if you want to create multiple versions of your game on different platforms, then you can use configurations. As an example, I'm gonna create a new configuration under default. I'm gonna name this Android Free. Now this will be a child of the default configuration. So it's gonna inherit all properties from default. Of course, other than the stuff you change here. So now this is the free version of our game on Android. We are now gonna create another configuration under this. This will be Android Paid. This is gonna inherit its properties from Android Free. Now we have two versions of our game on Android, one free and one paid. So we can set different options for each configuration. Now from the targets menu, I'm gonna select Android Free. And then in the options, I'm gonna select Android. I'm gonna fill in the info for this configuration. And then I'll hit apply. Now this will be saved in the Android free configuration. Now again, from the targets menu, I'm gonna select Android paid. All the info here is inherited from Android free. So we are gonna change it for this configuration. And then I'll hit apply. So this will be saved into Android paid. Now I'm gonna select Android free again. And you can see here that the options are all back to the free ones. Change the configuration to paid and you get the paid options again. So in this way you can manage different versions of your game on different platforms. Now the options are not the only things that you can save into configurations. The manual states that just about anything that can be configured in the IDE will be stored in the currently selected configuration. So that includes texture pages, sound settings, included files, extensions, and probably much more. But they don't affect your sprites, scripts, objects, and other resources. Now the main reason why I love configurations is because of macros. A macro is a constant global value. Let's say you have a macro called bullet speed. So this is how you would create it. This simply means that you are making a macro. Then this is the name of your macro. And this is the value of your macro. So this is like a variable, but it's a constant. So you cannot change it at runtime. Now let's say you use this constant in your code. Now when you compile the game, all the references to the macro will be replaced with the value. Now you can have different values for your macros depending on the configuration. So as an example, I'm gonna create some macros in this script. Now this is a macro that I use in every game that I make. I can use it to enable admin controls and cheats for testing the game. Now I'm gonna add some more macros for logging, for visual debugging, and for unlocking everything. Right now they are all set to zero or false. Now when you're testing your game, you'll be setting some of these to true. And when you release the game, you'll be setting all of these back to false. But instead of modifying the macros directly, you can use configurations to do that. So down here in the configuration menu, I'm gonna create a new configuration. This will be under default. I'm gonna name this test. So I'm gonna use this configuration for testing on this computer. Then I can use this one for releasing on Steam. And of course these for Android and I can make new configurations for other platforms. So this one is for testing. And we are gonna enable some of our macros for this configuration. First I'm gonna select the default configuration. So back in the script I'm gonna add this. Now here we are setting the macros but only for the test configuration. So in all the other configurations, these macros will be used. But in the test configuration, these will be used. You can see that I've enabled admin, logging and unlock all. 
So we are gonna test this by drawing the macro values. I'm gonna create an object for that, then place it in the room, then I'll add the draw event and draw the macros here. Now when you run the game, you'll see that admin and logging are zero. This is because we are in the default configuration. Now I'm gonna select the test configuration and then run the game. And now the macros are set to one. So this is happening because of this part in the script. So with a click of a button, you can switch between test and release versions of your game. For more tutorials, take a look at this playlist. You can also check out this video. To catch my future videos, you can subscribe here. And I'll see you in the next one.